What if I told you I generated this full article for completely free using Gemini? Yes, that includes this custom HTML element um, that is baked into the article that is beautiful. And also all of the written text was completely free. Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do so using the free Gemini API key on WordRocket. So to do so, let's go ahead and start from the beginning. And we're going to start by creating a new account. So I've went ahead and created a brand new account. And as you can see here, it's asking me for my open router API key. I'm actually not going to enter in my open router API key because again, you have to pay $10 to use it, even though that's the most powerful way to use WordRocket. Again, I want to show you guys how you can use it for completely free. So we just want to X the prompt to enter in our open router API key. And then we're going to head over to the free SEO blog post. And again, we have the same settings. We can enter in our internal links if we would like to do so. We can change the content language as we like. And then we can go ahead and enter the blog post topic in which we would like to write about. Now, of course, we're going to choose the Gemini model. So Gemini 2.5 Pro. Sometimes the models change because one model may be free at one time and then it becomes paid. So we just use whatever model is free from Gemini. And if you want to get your Gemini API key, you need to then click get a free Gemini API key. So if I open up this tab, it takes me to aistudio.google.com slash app slash API key, right? So once I am in the Google AI studio, I head over to API keys and then, or I click get API keys and I click create a new API key. And then you're just going to choose your uh, project if you are signed into Google Cloud. If not, it will just generate a free API key. And this is what the API key will look like. And you simply go ahead and you copy over the API key, head back over to WordRocket, and then we're going to paste that into the Gemini API key section. So again, this is a completely new account. I've paid zero dollars. I paid nothing for Gemini and I paid nothing for WordRocket. I'm going to keep my word count to, let's say, around 3000. We're also going to do first person stories and examples interactive HTML elements. And we're going to keep our intended audience for first time visitors to Guyana. And then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to click generate SEO content. So again, you enter in your blog post topic, your target keyword, and then the model in which you would like to use. In addition to Gemini, we have DeepSeek, Quen, Llama 4, but I would recommend just sticking with Gemini. It's the best free API that's currently available. So once that's done, just go ahead and click generate SEO content and your content will start generating. So give it about 30 seconds or so because Gemini is pretty quick. And there you go. Your content is finished generating. So you have your H1 tag, your title, you have your key takeaways. And remember, we click that we want it to be first person. So the article is written in a first person perspective, talking about my journey through Guyanese flavors and introduction to a culinary gem. From the moment I stepped foot into Ghana, I knew I was in for a treat. The soul of the Guyanese cuisine, scroll down the national dishes. Again, if we scroll all the way down here, we can see it's a really in-depth article, right? This is a really, really good article. We have lists, we have um, emojis. It's written from the first person perspective and we have our custom HTML element that's also baked in here. So keep on scrolling down until the end of the article. And overall, we had a pretty good article. We get our meta title and your meta description. So all we'd have to do is go ahead and copy over this markdown content. And then we can preview what this looks like, specifically what the HTML element will look like. So I'm going to do that in one second. But before I do that, I want to show you how to also use the all in one SEO generator 2.0. Now, if you use this model, the main difference is that with this template, you have the ability to generate images. Now, of course, the images aren't going to be free because you're going to be using open AI API key, but you can use Gemini to generate the written content and then use and then use open AI to then generate the images. So it would make your cost a lot less because you'd be using just open routers API key to generate the images and the actual text will be completely free. So again, we're going to stick with the Gemini model. So we're using Gemini for the text. And if I scroll down, I'm going to enter in my open AI API key. I've already shown you in my previous tutorials on how to get your open AI API key. So just make sure you have your API key. You pop it in here. Let's say we're going to generate about three images. So we want to generate three images and we're also going to generate a cover image for this specific article. So let's go ahead and click generate. And again, we're going to keep the same settings, first person stories and examples and an interactive HTML element and click generate SEO content with images. Now this is going to take a little bit longer. 
So give it about a minute or two because it's going to generate the text and then the text prompts for the images and then generate the actual images themselves. As you can see, it is completely free to use. You just have a daily usage that you can use the tool for, but it's very, very generous. But if you really like it, then you can then upgrade to get some more premium features and unlimited generations, of course. As you can see, it's went ahead and generated the text and now it's generating the images. So that took me maybe about a minute or so, but as you can see, we have the full content. It first started off by giving me the HTML element at the beginning. And when you're using the free model, sometimes it's going to be a little bit you know, different because again, it's a free model compared to, let's say if you use Open Router's API and you're using Claude Sonnet 4 or Claude Opus, it does a lot better and it's more consistent in its formatting. So we get the introduction here. We had the key takeaways, the heart of the Guyanese cuisine. We had a pull quote. Again, this looks really, really good. Very similar to the previous article in which we got back. But again, um, very in-depth, very on point, and very relevant to the topic in which we gave it. So we had a Guyanese food explorer. We had a conclusion. And we get our SEO meta title and our meta description. And then we get the images below. So we get an image of some food here, some Guyanese pepper pot. And we get some Guyanese street snacks. which so actually looks really, really good and really realistic. So as you can see here, this is how you can use the Gemini model for completely free to generate an SEO optimized piece of article. And again, all we have to do is copy over the markdown content and paste that in. And then we can have our content with the images and everything baked in. If you're using WordPress, just head over to WordPress. And again, you can paste in all of that HTML content, sorry, that markdown content. But if you wanted to convert to HTML, just click HTML. So custom HTML, paste that in. And we can preview what it looks like. So it's a Guyanese food explorer. And as you can see, this look actually looks really, really good. So we get desserts, we get main dishes, we get breakfast and bunch, street foods and snacks. It looks great. And I think it's actually meant to be at the beginning of the article because it's more interactive. It will pe keep people on the page a lot longer. And it's a nice interactive element. That's the first thing that someone will be able to see on your blog post. Then below that, we have the cover image prompts. These should not be there. Again, because you're using the free um, API, sometimes things like that do happen. But again, if you look at this, it's really, really good. I would say it's 99% good. All you have to do is um, tidy up a couple of small things. And these images look really good as well. As you can see, these are custom images that you just created. So they're completely yours, unique, and you can use them through your article or on your website. That's how you can use the free API from Gemini to generate content using our free templates and using our all-in-one template with custom images. As you can see, it created us a beautiful HTML element. Like I'm really, really happy and really impressed with this HTML element that it created. It's very beautiful and it looks great. And the content itself is really good. And I also really like the images as well. So of course, if you'd like to use this template for yourselves, just head over to wordrocket.ai, sign up, get your Gemini API key, and you can use these templates.